Anyone can jog, but how do you become a runner? There's a popular meme on the internet that goes something like, if you run, you're a runner. Yeah, okay, I think there's a little bit more to it than that. Here's some serious advice for beginner runners. First, get yourself a proper GPS watch, like a Garmin or a Koros. No respectable runner is gonna run with an Apple Watch or a Fitbit. And be sure to get yourself a Strava account to upload the data to. Strava is the only acceptable activity tracking platform, not MyFitnessPal or MapMyRun. Second, prepare to give up your social life, except with other runners. Saturday nights, they're not for going out. They're for resting before the Sunday church of the long run. Third, get over the fear of wearing short shorts. The shorter, the better, and absolutely do not show up wearing basketball shorts. Fourth, get ready to spend a lot of money. They say all you need to run is a pair of running shoes, but those shoes cost like $300. And it's not just the shoes. You'll need to buy running clothes from the correct brand. You'll need to buy recovery products of all varieties. You'll need nutrition and gels. And race entry fees are not cheap. This will add up to a lot of money, but you can't put a price on epicness. Fifth, rebrand your social media accounts to be all about running. On Instagram, change your account type to athlete. In the bio, be sure to list your PRs at different race distances. Post about all of your workouts, perfect the humble brag, and be sure to invest in the latest iPhone for the most epic content, or even buy a GoPro and a drone. Six, understand that eating is now fueling. Eating is not something to be enjoyed, but a necessary evil to fuel your workouts. You need to get lean and get down to race weight and not carry a single ounce of body fat more than you need to to stay healthy. And stop drinking alcohol at least 10 weeks before a race. After a long run, it is acceptable to buy a pastry and to post photos of that pastry on social media. The pastry is a testament to the hard work that you've put in, but you probably shouldn't actually eat the whole thing. Seven, realize that you will never go on vacation again. Yes, you will travel, but you will travel for one of two reasons. Either you are going to go run somewhere epic and you need the content for your social media game, or you are traveling to run in a destination race. Eight, your primary news source is now the Let's Run message boards. Be sure to check it at least once a day. Learn how to use the term hobby jogger correctly. Uh, criticize pro runners who are way faster than you. And don't worry, in addition to running, people will discuss politics and current events, so it's really the only news source you'll ever need. Nine, study running culture. Running culture is all about hero worship. We put people on pedestals based on how fast they are. If you don't know who Kipchoge is, don't embarrass yourself. Go Google 159 Project and watch the replay now. Ilya Kipchoge, Desiree Linden, Meb Kifleski. It's imperative that you have respect for these athletes as if they were gods. But when you talk about them with others, refer to them casually by their first name or by a nickname like Meb or Desi or Kippy. Basically, you want other people to think that you're basically best friends with them. And be sure to complete the required reading for all runners, which includes Once a Runner and Running with the Buffaloes. Finally, start obsessing about the Boston Marathon. Everything you do from here on out, every sacrifice you make is so that you can be Q, so that you can get into Boston and earn the right to wear the jacket. Welcome to the world of running.